James Kaufman, World News Report today, January 24th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had the largest solar flare that we've seen in the last 72 hours plus. We've just had a strong M2.73 solar flare. It was generated by our old friend, Sunspot Group AR3961, a Beta Gamma class Sunspot Group. We can see it here on GOES X-ray Flux. It looks like it peaked right around 2130. So that would be about 330 here centrally. This is basically an ongoing event here. And it's still coming off of that flare back into sea territory, as you can see here. If I didn't say it, this was our GOES X-ray flux that lets us see how much radiation in the form of X-rays are hitting our satellites currently, i.e. hitting Earth. All right, this will be the strongest flare in 72 plus hours in M2.73. It came out of 3961. You can see all the activity, although not very strong, was also generated by 3961, except for the C8.7 flare there. We see we had only a 10% chance of having an X-class solar flare, a 55% chance of having an M-class solar flare, and we have been maintaining a C baseline for some time now, although we did slip below it for just a few hours. Uh, last week, well, that's been the only only time that has occurred within about the last six months. Currently, we have a C7.08, but that's coming off of that M-class solar flare. So let's just say a 100% chance of having a C-class solar flare, i.e. baseline. Over to HMI and Tensogram. We see 3961 on the departing limb. We're moving towards the departing limb. We do know we have a geomagnetic connection to that limb via the Parker spiral. Our electromagnetic connection is to the departing limb at all times, which means when we see a lot of activity on that departing limb, it can actually move down that electric connection and be geo-effective towards Earth. I don't know if AR3961 is far enough towards the limb for that to happen, but we have seen that many times in the past. Uh, we see AR3967, the only other sunspot that's given us a small or strong sea flare. And altogether, looks like we have eight sunspots on the Earth-facing solar disk here but we have a lot of trouble coming around the limb and we'll take a look at that all right uh over to go solar ultraviolet imager a few things i want to show you guys this is the actual m2.73 flare here come out of our old friend 3961 the sun doesn't look too bad in my opinion we only have two Beta Gamma Sunspot Groups, nothing Delta class. We do have what looks like a curl hole coming around the limb. We also have a large filament here uh, that is floating above the surface. And a lot of activity coming around the limb here. We'll take a look at Soho if it's working yet. But uh, we see that we have active sunspots that are headed around very shortly. And we'll let everyone watch the last two hours on the sun. You can see the flare there. And this is, of course, what I'm worried about here, along with this dark filament. I'm not quite sure what's going on here either. Over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we have the direct hit over Hawaii again. More flares seem to pop off over Hawaii, directly over Hawaii, than anywhere around the globe, period. 
can see it wasn't very strong as far as the x-ray flux uh, and the radiation that we absorbed but everyone's getting their ample dose of radiation with that constant C flare let's not forget about that and that's kind of just running throughout the entire day radiation wherever the Sun is minus the big pop and since some of STO is up, we're going to take a look at this brilliant 48 hour film. Let's see if we can see any of this dark film that's coming around. It looks like it cuts off lots of action coming off the sunspots here. To see what happens here in about 72 hours. And finally, during 30 five angstroms was so beautiful i had to show since it's working again the last 48 hours there's our culprit right there and then look at this look we can see it so well that 335 angstroms that's that filament action i've been talking about never really seen anything like it there went the the two or the c9 and here goes the, it's hard to tell, Let's see if they've got it on there. They might have cut it off beforehand, moving very fast. But again, the filament down here and all of this, look, all of this is just spectacular. Let's hope it uh, doesn't pop off while well, it's earth facing, but it's definitely spectacular. That said, God bless, guys. I'll keep you updated. Uh, we were supposed to have a solar storm today that got pushed back till tomorrow. Geomagnetic storm from the earth facing solar flare three or four days ago got pushed back till tomorrow. With that said, God bless, share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.